welcome to Will and PE. It's week seven, lesson two. I'm here with Jack. Hi. And uh, hopefully we've only got this one and next week to go and we can get out of lockdown. Fingers crossed. I'm filming this in half term, so I don't know for sure. Anyway, um, today we're going to do uh, some strength work and we're going to go down on the floor and do it. The postman's just arrived, so anyway, we'll get ignore that. Okay, so we'll start off from down here, Jack, okay? Yep. All right, and then we're going to just go from side to side like this. Okay, so you don't need a lot of space on this one. You can do it indoors in the rain. Oh, can't predict the weather X amount. So what we're doing, okay, so we're just rocking side to side. Now, you young people, um, you'll be able to keep your ankles down here a bit better than me. If you, you can have your heels down if you want, or you can just now start lifting heels up. I know I've got black shoes on. So, Jack, what we're going to try and do is just reach a little bit further, okay? And what we're trying to do is get long and strong. Remember we talked about that? So go a little bit further each time, Jack, okay? So you reach in there. Yeah. Good. Okay, so just stretching out a bit. Now, Jack's done a good job there. He's got one hand down, okay? One hand, you, you tend to go a bit closer, but I'm really going to try and reach there now and do you see what happens to my legs that they just start to straighten so Jack just try that don't have to be completely straight but I'm just moving there like that can you see that try that very good I'm just going to come and remember while Jack does that he's doing a pretty good job he's doing a very good job we don't want to be um, there's no point being all loose and weak and there's no point being really strong and stiff, okay? So if you're strong and stiff, you're like an iron bar, like a crowbar, and if you're all loose like this, you're a piece of string. So we want to be long and strong, more like a metal chain, where we can be flexible and then tight if we need to be. Okay, good one, Jack. If, so Jack did this, going a bit longer like this. If you're not strong enough to hold here, you can do it with two hats. So I'm just going over here like that, and I'm going, to that side there. You see, I've got two hands on the floor now. I've only getting one leg straight, so this is a bit of a dial down here. But if I can get two legs straight, there. So Jack, try and see if you can get two legs straight now, okay? Good. Oh, you might have to move so you don't bang the wall. Very good, that's it. So he's got two legs straight with two hands down. Let's make that a bit harder, Jack. Let's try, and I'll always try first myself. Can I get two legs straight? Oh. I don't think I can. Carefully. And then come back with just one hand down. So just be careful. I don't think it's... Yeah, and then he's got two hands down there. You can, you can put two hands to get into position, then have one hand up. Good. That's probably the best thing to do there, Jack, isn't it? And then come back. So Jack, what you did there was move your feet underneath you, which is a, which is a, um, a, a solution. Yeah, you did. You move that foot back. Yeah, but so, I did it. That's because I came back. So what we can, so what you can do there. Then remember, we're just trying to challenge your body in different these different positions. Is let me go there, please, Jack. Okay. You can do what Jack did, which is one hand down, other hand up, lift the hand off. One hand down, back and go. So that's quite good. So I'll do that side again. So one hand there to lean. This helps you get there. But then I, oh, I get to this straight leg position there. All right. So that's the challenge. Just see if you can get both legs straight. Okay. All right, Jack. So can you demonstrate your one when you move your feet, please? You just did. And Jack's solution two for this was to have one hand down. Get that. Oh, and then you might have to move that supporting leg <laughs> slippy on the floor here. Okay, good one, Jack. All right, and then go there. And come back. So you might have to bring that right foot underneath there. So then you can bring the other foot underneath. No, but it doesn't matter because I'm already done out. Yes, it's coming back to the hard bit, isn't it? No, that's not part of the trick. Okay, so, just, so we want to control. We want to have control sideways. Now we'll dial that up again. We can keep going sideways, okay? So we'll go here, but now I'm gonna lift a foot off. Okay, have you noticed I've got two hands down. 
one foot off. And again, you notice I'm just tilting, going upside down. Go on, Jack, if you do that on each side. I'll explain why we're doing that. We're getting, getting used to going upside down. And with one leg off, it puts more work onto our upper body. And our upper body is here. This is what we call our upper body. And we're having to brace to control, aren't we? All right, so let's say that now. Of course, if we go back to... Excuse please, Jack. So show that again. <coughs> now I can either have my face going down like that, or I can have up to the side like that. So you can change what you do. So here's face down, okay, or face to the side. Okay, Jack, do you want to try that? Uh, I was doing two hands on that. Well, that's dialing up more as one hand, yep. So do a face down, leg up, as high as you can. And then sideways. Going to do sideways on the other side, are you? I did do sideways. Uh, if your face was down there, leg up. So yes, this one. My face was facing sideways. Okay, but your body needs to be facing sideways. Okay, that's what we mean. So face down, leg up, higher, leg up, higher. And then Jack's doing the next one which is one hand. Just be careful about that wall, Jack. I don't want you falling into the wall. So that's one, one leg up, sideways. So that's it. And what's it challenging there when you wobble a bit? What else is it challenging? Um, balance. balance, yes, that's good. So we're working on, like, like we said before, everything's everything. Okay, so we've done sideways now. Then, it's just starting again from the same position, we can start going forwards. Now, I'll go to my weak point, which is going this way up here so I'll get both legs up like this and then come back switch hands and then come back up like that okay there we go good one Jack now Jack's better at this one as we saw the other week so, oh, he's, he's done this from cold he's not warm but he's done it good man oh <laughs> can you do that one sideways please Jack so everyone can see that because you're better at it than I am so we start from this position okay Jack's uh, what do we do? We can do legs forward like this, okay, and then Jack's reaching up and back like that, <laughs> okay, and then come back. You don't have to do that, and then bring. And then what I did here was switch hands and then walk forward, okay, and reach up like that, or you can start and go backwards. So here on this one, I'm going to go backwards, 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 till I get my legs straight. Yeah, same again. Oh, one hand up, other hand up, and there, like that. Okay? And always keeping your bottom off the floor. Good. Yeah, okay, then walk your hands forward, so you're back down to this position. So we start from here, okay? Uh, and now try the walking backwards one, Jack. And we lifted one hand off, now lift one leg off. Yeah, then the other leg. Oh, I'm cheating a bit there. See, my legs are bent. Okay, if you go back a bit further, Jack. Oh, Jack's legs are straight. My legs are bent. Easier version is legs bent. Like yeah, I'm sat down. I'm terrible posture here. Right, super duper. This is harder. Okay, like this. Yeah. Oh, well, I know. I'm trying to get them into a bridge, all right? Okay, and then if I come back here, I get my legs straight whoa, without my bottom sitting on the floor. And then push back. That's quite hard, isn't it? Push your bottom back, leg straight without it touching the floor, and then come back. And then walk back up here. Okay, and shake off. So, we've got moving forwards and backwards, moving side to side. And once you've done all that, you can add a, we did all that with our, um, oh, we did some of them, some of them we didn't go going forward like this, bottom uh, facing up to the sky, okay, or going backwards here, like that. So I just add a turn there. So what you can do, once you've got that basic pattern, the framework like we talked about, just see which directions you can go. One hand, two hands, tummy up to the ceiling, tummy down to the floor, one leg, two legs. And you can see how much work and variety you can get in a small distance. Anything to add there, Jack? Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Jack. Stay safe. Stay healthy.